It is Friday, September 24th. I'm Allie Hoxie. We begin with a Westland man accused of trying to meet up with an underage girl for sex in Monroe County. A task force arrested him at the mall of Monroe on Wednesday afternoon following an undercover operation. 40 year old Christopher Frank is charged with child sexually abusive activity, using a computer to commit a crime and accosting a child for immoral purposes. The judge set his bond at a half a million dollars. Now to an update on Flat Rock. Hundreds of families who were evacuated from their homes in the city about three weeks ago are getting the all clear to return. Testing confirms zone one near the Ford plant is now safe with the exception of about 15 homes still in question. The area identified as zone two was cleared for return earlier this week. After an 18 month pause, the Q line in Detroit is resuming service. A soft opening is happening tonight and tomorrow from 6 to midnight in par partnership with D Electricity. On Monday, the streetcar service will officially restart operations. Hours are going to be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and 8 a.m. and to 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. I 72 today and the sun's back out. A nice break from all the rain. We'll get the chance of rain returning tomorrow even before the sun comes up. Rain tomorrow morning, a quarter up to a half inch of rain. It'll move out before noon. High of 67 tomorrow afternoon. 70 Sunday, partly cloudy. We're warming up next week. Do have a slight chance of rain Monday morning, but the rest of the week rain free with highs in the mid 70s.